Pittsburgh Today Live is coming to you from the Greer Cabaret Theater for the third annual PTL Holiday Spectacular. And what would a holiday spectacular be without Santa himself? And you know what? It's not every day that you get to call up the <laughs> big guy in red live on TV. That's right. Forget the snail mail to the North Pole. Santa's going straight to the airwaves to hear some holiday wishes sent in by the kids from right here in Pittsburgh. So please welcome to the stage the one, the only, Santa Claus. Yes, Santa. Thank you so much. <laughs> welcome. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Have a seat. Merry oh. Christmas to you. First off, why is there so much booze on the set? It's 9 30 in the morning. Well, come on now. It's kind of what we do, Santa. Oh, 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 oh. All right, so you have questions, yes. and, and we want to ask, and we thank you so much for making time. We know this is a very busy time of the year. Malcolm from Russellton is asking, mm -hmm. how do you fit down the chimney if someone has a really small fireplace? Ooh. Oh, well, Malcolm, that's a very easy one. You know, the human body can contort to very small shapes. It's just some of the presents I have trouble with, especially those bicycles. Oh, oh I imagine that would true. be tough. That, yeah. Allie from Beaver Falls says, what happens if my house doesn't have a chimney, Santa? Well, well Ali, I, I want to let you know tonight, I'm a very skilled locksmith now. I can pick any lock, pretty much anywhere, and I'll get into your house very fast. You know, we're learning so many things about Santa right now, I didn't know. Jonathan from my hometown of Ford City wants to know, what's the funniest thing that's ever happened to you on Christmas? Oh, well, Jonathan, the funny thing, the funniest thing that's ever happened is the time Mickey Mouse came to the North Pole and he got hit in the face with a snowball. Yeah. That would make me laugh, too. It was, it was all because Donald Ducked. Uh, oh, oh, and he has jokes, ladies uh, and gentlemen. Good one, Santa. Uh, Jonathan from Fort City also had a follow up question. Oh, okay. Is David Highfield on the nice list? He wants to know. Well, first off, Jonathan, why would you think David wasn't on a nice list? I mean, what's going on here? I'm I'm missing something. What's <laughs> yeah. yeah, Jonathan, what are you saying? What do you think? Oh, I've always known David Highfield to be a very kind, compassionate, and warm human being. Oh, Aww, Santa's you the really, best. You really I love are, Santa. <laughs> All right, Kaylee from Newcastle has a question. Do you ever wear anything other than red? It does look good on you. Oh, oh, oh. Well, I appreciate that. It looks good on you folks, too. Well, Kaylee, the reason I started wearing red is because up in the North Pole, there may be a, a pop-up blizzard or a snowstorm, and red is the easiest color to see if somebody has to rescue you. Oh, very smart. I feel like he's thinking things, about safety. The too. public doesn't know this stuff. Um, we want to get to one more question if we can. Lucas from Waynesburg, what's your favorite Christmas movie? Oh, Lucas, uh, that would be Miracle on 34th Street, the 1947 version, oh. in which Edmund Gwynn won an Academy Award for playing me. <laughs> he got it right. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Got it right. Santa approved. Oh, oh, thank you, Santa, for taking time out of your busy schedule to be with us. Thank you for having me on, Heather and David. It's been a wonderful experience. Anytime, you are always welcome here. 